The Creek tribe were once located in Alabama and Georgia. They were forced along with other tribes to Indian Territory on the Trail of Tears. With the oncoming of the Civil War, tribes in the Indian Territory started to take sides. Some tribes sided with the Confederacy, other felt honor bound to their treaty to the Union and sided with the Union. Opothia Lahola was a Lower Creek Indian and owned a ranch and slaves in Indian Territory. Though siding with the Confederacy tried to get him to join their side. He didn't want anything to do with the war. On August 15, 1861, he wrote to President Abraham Lincoln asking for Union protection. They received a response saying the government would assist them if they would move to Fort Row, Kansas, which was located nine miles north of Verdonia in Wilson County, Kansas. Nearly 10,000 Indians and 600 slaves gathered at Opotha Leohola's plantation. Opotha Leohola led the refugees north. The group was attacked three times by the Indians siding with the Confederacy. The last attack was on December 26, 1861, near present-day Tulsa, Oklahoma. The Confederacy won, sending Opotha Leohola and his people to flee into the wilderness, leaving behind all their supplies and possessions in the dead of winter. Many of the refugees died along the trail to Fort Rowe. Fort Rowe had no idea the refugees were coming and didn't have enough food or shelter for them or their animals. They camped on the frozen prairie. Opothaleohola pleaded with federal authorities to send aid and his pleas went unanswered. The group faced starvation and death from exposure. The surviving refugees were eventually moved to Fort Belmont about five miles south of present-day Yates Center in Woodson County. In two months, 240 refugees died and more than 100 amputations were performed. The conditions they were living in were extremely poor. One observer said about 4,500 Indians, including children, were wearing rags or were naked. They were eating horses and dogs to survive. Moldy bacon condemned by the officials were given to them to eat and many grew ill. Blankets that had been exposed to smallpox were given to them, killing many after an outbreak of smallpox at the fort. Their only protection from the snow was the prairie grass they laid upon. Scraps and rags stretched upon switches were their only protection from the wind and weather. Yopole Lahola's daughter passed away at the fort from pneumonia. She was buried upon a hill overlooking the fort. May 28, 1862, aid was finally authorized by Congress and sent to William Coffin in Leroy, Kansas for distribution. It was too late. An estimated 2,000 of the refugees died of disease, battle wounds, or weather during their journey or after their arrival in Kansas. The young Indian men who remained healthy eventually were routed to Leroy. Apothaleohola died March 22, 1863 in Quinnamo, Kansas, and was buried beside his daughter in Woodson County, Kansas by Fort Belmont. The refugee's journey from Indian Territory to Kansas would eventually be known as the Trail of Blood on Ice. A memorial was built in Leroy, Kansas in the city park in honor of Yopothaleohola. He is also honored on Leroy City Mural, which sits along Highway 58.